Hello children, I hope you are well at home and safe. Now today children we are going to study about the topic models. Now what are models? Models are special verbs. Like adverb gives more information about the verb. In the same way models also give more information about the verb, the main verb. Now modern words are can, will, could and so on. Now we will see the different characteristics of models. The first is forms do not change. That means the forms of the verb do not change. Like in few verbs we used to add as an ES to make it plural form. But in models you cannot change the form of the verb. Second is express. What the model shows? It expresses certainty and possibility and so on. Past form or you can say the third form of the word. 
work. Now you will see here also again that might not is used which shows the probability. It can happen or it cannot. Could not shows certainty means surprisingly and anything has taken place. Now next is ability. Model is used for ability and for ability we use can, could, be able to. For example, they are used in, sorry, they are used in present, past, future. That means can, could, be able to. All the three words in ability of model is used in present, past and future form. For example, she can sing well. Now here in this sentence, can is showing you the model and it is used in the present form. Could you build house when seven years old? That means the person is here more than seven years. That means here he is talking about the past. Then he will be able to write neatly. Now will is there. This is the helping verb and the will verb shows the future form. So you can say this is the future form of the model. Then use of can could. Now can could is also used for your interrogative sentences and affirmative sentences. For example in interrogative, can she eat it? Now here you are asking the person can she eat it? That means when we are starting the sentence with can, it shows the interrogative form. Now you, you can use a formula can or what plus subject plus Verb, main verb. So each here is your main verb. Then in the affirmative sentences, affirmative sentences means positive sentences. For this you can use the formula subject, can or what plus main verb. That means she can eat well. She is your subject, can or what. Now we are using can here so you can use, you can say can plus main verb eat. So she can eat well. Now we will see using be able to show. Now able to is showing the model which is used as an ability. Now in interrogative sentence the formula is be plus subject plus able to plus main verb. Now example were you able to eat this? Now you will say this that ma'am we are not using be here. Because here in interrogative in place of be, we can use verb in the past form, we can use are in the present form, in the plural form. Now in affirmative sentence, the formula is subject plus be plus able to plus main verb. That means you were able to eat this mango. Now here as I have told you before that uh, in place of be, we can use word in uh, past form. So here also subject you, be, in place of be we are using word, able to, main verb, eat. This mango, this is object. So you can say you were able to eat this mango in affirmative form. Then comes be able to is used with many other tenses. Right? Be able to. Here also we have used be, but we have changed it into what? But here we will see many other cases in which we can use be able to. Now we will see first, she has been able to mend her shirt. Now here, has is used for your present form. And it is singular, she is singular. So we are using has be. Now here in place of be, we are using being. We can change the form according to the tenses. So, she has been able to mend her shirt. So, this sentence is in present perfect form. What is perfect form? For perfect form is that when you are confirmed of what action you are doing. So, here she knows what action she is doing. She is mending her shirt. In the second sentence, she had been able to mend her shirt. Now here, had shows your past.
is in your past perfect tense because of has this has become past now she will have been able to make her shirt now here will shows your future form then that, that, that is why this sentence she will have been able to make her shirt is in your future perfect tense now we will as we have seen interrogative affirmative you will see negative sentences also and while using the negative sentences we use not for example i cannot write now can is your model and you are adding not i cannot write another example she could not write could another is your model and with the model you are adding not so these sentences are in your negative form now other models are there which is used in case of necessity compulsion now what are those words must have to have got to now these are the words you use when there is necessity and compulsion compulsion means you have to do it there is no other choice so we use must and have to when there is a necessity zarurat hai aapki aapko karna hi karna hai there is no choice and have got to is used in a common informal way in a very normal way you use it have got to and it is used in as obligations now we will see must and have got to here you will see that must and have got to is never used in past tense that is why i am marked cross here in the past form must and have got to is not used must and have to is used to express obligations now must is used for from the speaker whatever action is done i must have completed this work that means must is used for the speaker only that means the speaker himself or herself is doing the work and have to comes from other sources not the speaker like we have to finish the presentation today here we is not the speaker okay and here it comes from the speaker means i must complete my work now here the speaker himself has to complete the work then we come to the other models models like uh, for suggestions advice duty obligations probability for these conditions we use the model should and ought to okay when there are any suggestions there are any advice duty obligations or probability we use the model should and ought to for example you should or ought to take a shower every day now here you see you can use should or ought to to take a shower that means there is a suggestion or you can say there is an advice also that we should take shower every day i hope you have understood this much now we will see the mark where must can can be used in deduction now must is used when you are sure of what action is done like they have been playing football they must be tired now here you are using they must be tired why because you are sure that they are playing football then can't is used like when you think something which is not true for example it is not hot it can't be showering here that means here there is no surety that it going to rain or not now another point is request in request we use the model can could and would for example can i have the sauce please here you are making a request can i have the sauce please another example could you pass the sauce please now here also again with the word model could you are requesting the person to pass you the sauce now in case of would it is used in more polite request than can and could would is more in polite way i would like a
parts of water please that means in these sentences there is a request but in what form it is more in a polite manner then comes your suggestions in suggestions model we use can shall can could with shall we use we for example shall we is used for asking something like when shall we leave here you are asking when shall we leave then can and could is used for making suggestions for example he can have medicine if not well now here you see there is why it is an advice or suggestion because you are using the word if there is a choice you want to take the medicine or not you could try calling up room service now here the person is giving a suggestion that if you want something you can call the room service next is the model will and shall is used when you make any promise when you promise we use the model will and shall for example i will come to your party now here the subject i will now here the person is sure that that person will come to the party now habitual past actions habitual means when you are in habit of doing the things like you brush your teeth now this is your habit so you do it in past you are doing in present and you will continue doing in future so this is called as habit habitual and habitual and past action you use would for example every winter they would gather at their cousin's place that means the, it is their habit in every winters they used to go to their cousin's house or every winter we go to shimla that means it is an habit that every winter time they used to go to shimla then another point is wish in wish we use the model may for example may you live may you live long now suppose it is your cousin's birthday so you give the wishes may you live long i hope that you have understood the chapter models thank you